Hey, what's going on? I'm Joe. I want to show you my 1981 Pontiac Bonneville Safari. Somewhat of a rare car. It's a big old station wagon. Uh, they didn't make these for very many years. Only two years of this exact, you know, configuration. You know, that weird looking bumper out front. Um, it probably just wasn't that popular of a car back in the day, but it was pretty bougie level of car. Leather interior, uh, built-in CB radio, all sorts of little oddities in this, and a big, you know, V8, 307 Oldsmobile, uh, rear-wheel drive, but it does have a four-speed in it, uh, automatic, so that's kind of nice. I'm just going to kind of clean it up today, make it, uh, it, it, it sat for about 20 years, I would say, or more. The plate on it's uh, last plated in 2000, but it didn't get used a lot, so I'm going to clean it up a little bit, put a lot of it through fast forward, just kind of show you guys a little nifty things I found in the car, whatnot. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks. So we're going to start at the back of the car. One of this nice big barn door openings like that. Uh, unfortunately, the window on this side is broken out. That's sort of the worst part about the car. And I don't know how long it's been broken for, but for quite a while. And as you can see, dirt, critters, what have you, been able to get inside here. So we're going to start towards the back and, and work our way out. Now we're going to check out the back, see what's kind of got hidden away. I don't know if this thing has flip up reverse seats or if they run forward. And then we're also going to check out the little trunk area. That tells a pretty good story of the car, what kind of junk they kept in the back. Let's see, we got Raid, thing ATF, that's always a good sign. Uh, that just looks like motor oil, power steering fluid, more Raid. Nothing terribly interesting in here. Some bottles, some jars, some bunch of junk. Like a little bit of water got down in there. Half that stuff's frozen in the bottom, so nothing too terribly interesting. We're going to open that up. I don't know if anything's in there or not. I haven't opened it yet either, so you need the key to do it. So this is where you keep all your goodies if uh, you know, you're going to hide something in your car. Ooh. That's a pretty good find. I don't hate that. 1981 Pontiac service manual. Whew. Don't mind that at all. Cool. That's a good find. Leave that right where I find it so I can lose it. So I don't lose it. Over here we have the back seat. Uh, nothing too wild here. Uh, you can tell how luxurious it is, though. Uh, a little bit of mold and whatnot. I'll have to get some sort of special cleaner to get that out of the leather, but the seats themselves are actually in very nice shape back here. Um, it's just a cool old car. And here's another little interesting thing that you can do with these. Bam! Look at that. There is a reason these were called shagging wagons back in the day. Good lord, you could fit a whole twin bed in there. Not too shabby. Fella could live in one of these if he had to. I probably had worse places myself. Let's see what we found in the back here. Nothing too interesting. Smithsonian ad. $15 all you want for a Smithsonian magazine. And then a map. Part of the map of the western half of the United States. All right, let's move up to the front. There she is in all her glory. Um, it's a little squingy in there, but again, seats are in really pretty excellent shape, I would say. Um, lots of nice little details, lots of hokey cokey 80 stuff. All that genuine fake wood trim paneling in there. I don't know if you can hear it or see it, but the little clock is winding. See that? You can hear it too going. Tick, 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 tick. I wonder how long that'd take to run down your battery. 
Pretty neat though. Bonneville. It's also got the rear window up and down function. I think it only works on the cars running. And then we've got our built-in AC Delco radio CB. So we can talk to our trucker buddies. We're going cross country. A big old stack of papers in there. Nothing terribly interesting. Ohio map. Yuck. All right. The original owner's manual. Kind of gross looking though. Uh, service. Do. 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 Bill for something. Hmm. Transmission was serviced at some point. That's nice. At least once. Better than none ever. This is a nice little send help thing. I put that up whenever I'm working on a car. You know, I constantly need the help. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. Original bill of sale. Let's see. They bought it in 1981, brand new. I got this car from the original owner. Kind of neat. Um, they bought it in Delray Beach, Florida. Uh, if anybody's got a guess at what this car costs brand new, let me know in the comments. I'm going to put it in the description. I'll let you know. Uh, but you saw what's all in the car, what kind of package it is. It's, it's a high-level car. Um, 1981. Think about it. Let's save this one. Let's see. Nothing, 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 nothing. Another service record. Some fresh brake stuff in 1989, so I don't know how good they'd still be now. All right, let's go around the front, uh, clean up a few more things there, and then maybe hear this thing run. So as you can see, I put some fresh parts on this war pig when I got it. I tried to fire it up right away, and it turned over, but that was about it. Um, it had really weak sparks, so I got some new spark plugs, new spark plug wires. I rebuilt the carburetor. It's got a nice old quadrajet on it. That's tap notch. That's what you're looking for in an automobile. I got the vice grips holding on the brake or on the the vice grips holding on the battery right now. That's that's also very nice. And the hood's over there. It's not not gone or anything. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, get all those pine needles gone, and then uh, I might start it up. All cleaned up. Better than it was anyways. Less uh, less likely for critters to get into it. Uh, but this is a pretty cool old car. Um, lots of little neat things in the blinkers. Little Pontiac symbols. A pretty cool little touch. Uh, power plant 307 Oldsmobile. They made these from like 1977 to 1990. They got quite a bit of life out of them. Uh, they're, they're total boat motors or boat anchors I should say. Uh, they're not particularly fast or anything like that, but they are pretty reliable. Um, they don't tend to break. And let's, uh, let's see if she'll start up. With The exhaust was plugged when I got it, so I had to cut it off just behind the the, the uh, exhaust manifold. So she's a little throaty right now, but I like it. I think I'm going to keep it. It's a perfect cruiser for the weekends. I've got a wife, a kid, two kids, and one more on the way. So when you want to go anywhere in style, you know, if we wanted to go to Disneyland, we're right there. Um, what would you do with it if it was yours? Would you restore it? Would you scrap it? Uh, let me know. I think it's a pretty cool car. I think they're starting to come around. Let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.